Section 1.2, Areas of Trapezoids, Rhombuses, and Kites. This was a picture that I took on my vacation this summer, and I really, really like this picture, and I'm kind of needing this picture today because it's beautiful and calm and serene, and it makes me feel happy after the ah, and the chaos of all the elections and everything like that the past few weeks and months, and it seems like years. So it's just a nice, calming, relaxing picture, and I just I'm picturing myself sitting back here again like I was this summer. But alas, I am not. I am teaching you guys about the areas tra of trapezoids, rhombuses, and kites, which is pretty cool as well. As you discovered today in class, area of a trapezoid. The area of a trapezoid is half the sum of your bases times your height. Just like when we were dealing with slope and we had x sub 1 and x sub 2, that's what we have here. That's telling us the difference between the two bases. This doesn't mean that this is to the first power and this is to the second. It's simply telling us the difference between the first base and the second base. So you'll add your bases, divide them by 2, and multiply by the height. That's for a trapezoid. For kites and rhombi or rhombuses, your area is half diameter 1, I'm sorry, diagonal, half diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. Let's look at example 1. We're finding the area of the figure. Your bases are going to be denoted with these two little arrows like this. That means these two sides are parallel to each other. Your height always meets at a right angle with your basis. So for this problem, our area is half, which I'm going to go ahead and write as 5 tenths, the sum of the bases. So I'm going to take 7 plus 12 times the height, which is 5. So let's see, 7 and 12 is 19, so I've got half times 19 times 5. Let's see, half of 20 is 10, so half of 19 is 9 and a half. And then 9 and a half times 5 is 47 and a half. Since we're talking about area, our unit on this will be feet squared. So the area is 47 and a half feet squared. This distance right here is just put in there to throw us off. You might need it if you were asked to use the perimeter or find the perimeter of this shape, but since we're not, it's meant to be a distractor. Example two, here we have a kite. Kites diagonals meet at right angles, just like they do in rhombi or rhombuses. So all we're doing for the area of a kite, we're taking half your diagonals times each other. So half of 14 times 6. Half of 14 is 7. And 7 times 6 gives us 42 inches squared. For this one, let's look at what we're talking about here. This distance right here is 40 meters. This distance right here is 30 meters. Pause your video at this time to try and find the area of this rhombus. For this problem, we have to get the full length of our diagonals. So this length is 40, this length is 40, this length is 30, this length is 30. So we've got 40 plus 40 times 30 plus 30 or an area of 80 times 60. And 80 times 60 is going to give me 4,800 meters squared. Hey, 
five minute point right now, not doing too bad. That's our last example. So make sure you attempt the homework. We will be discussing this on Friday and moving on from there.